I want to pause for a minute and talk about modularity and square numbers. All numbers can be expressed as the remainder when you divide by a given smaller number. Dividing by 2, for example, always results in a remainder of 0 for even numbers and 1 for odd numbers. Now, differentiating between even and odd numbers is handy, and we use that every day, but there's nothing unique about the method. We can divide by 3 or 4 or any number and look at the remainder. If, for example, we divided by 4, then all integers have a remainder of 0, 1, 2, or 3, with 0 and 2 being even, and 1 and 3 being odd. Maths people would say that a number is congruent to 0, 1, 2, or 3 mod 4. Looking just at the remainders mod 4, 7 and 11 are effectively the same. They are congruent. It's a bit counterintuitive, but 4 is a 0 mod 4 number rather than a 4 mod 4 number, because 4 divides by 4, leaving a remainder of 0. Looking at the remainders, we can apply rules about adding and multiplying and get predictable results. Odd numbers are 1 mod 2, and if we add two ones together, then we get 2, which is a 0 mod 2 number. In the same way that we can add two odd numbers together and know that we'll always end up with an even number, we can do the same with any divisor. So a 3 mod 4 number added to a 1 mod 4 number will always equal a 0 mod 4 number. The same sort of thing happens with multiplication where, for example, a 1 mod 4 number multiplied by a 3 mod 4 number will always equal a 3 mod 4 number, but a 3 mod 4 number multiplied by a 3 mod 4 number will always equal a 1 mod 4 number. 